In fact, what we're going to also try to get you a sense of is what's taking place in the High Court in Durban. That's where, of course, we've been waiting with bated breath to see how things are going to unfold with the ANC's bid to try to prevent um, uh, the MK party from um, essentially using that name and logo. It seems like it was a very quick sitting and you can see celebratory scenes unfolding inside the court because what we've learned is that the application has been dismissed. That means the breaking news at the hour is that the newly founded MK party will be able to continue using their name and their logo. No surprises there that you can see there on screen, uh, Dalim Bofu SC and the rest of their team celebrating. I'm gonna ask if we can just dip in and just take in the sights and sounds of what's taking place inside court. All right, once again, live visuals there unfolding inside the High Court in Durban. Jubilant scenes unfolding from, of course, MK party members and supporters who are taking in this latest court victory, the High Court in Durban, dismissing the application to essentially uh, stop this organization from using its name, which is MK, Umkonto Wesizwe, and its logo, which is that icon of the warrior with the spear. It is the latest in a string of victories for this organization, which you know has also uh, won its case against the uh, IEC, uh, again, a bigger pardon, against the ANC in that attempt to deregister the organization um, after the IC, of course, submitted it or acknowledged it as an organization ahead of the elections. And I have no doubt they're going to be riding this latest victory all the way to the 29th of May. That's when, of course, 27 odd million registered South Africans are likely to go mark their eggs at the ballot. And I guess in some ways it puts to bed this kind of uncertainty around what will happen, given the fact that the IEC had already indicated last week already that it will try and um, go ahead and print their ballots, essentially, um, to try and uh, get a sense of how things in the lead up to the elections are going to unfold. But the breaking news there is that, of course, uh, MK Party has now won that victory to keep their name and their logo, which, of course, has been, as far as they're concerned, something that um, was always a long time in the making. Let's get you a sense of what the situation is looking like on the ground now, given the fact that many of those who are inside court are now making their way outside. You can see there, part of our team is Simpio Makanya, who's been watching those developments for us very closely. Simpio, I'm hoping you're able to hear me. Signs of jubilation, obviously from the NK, another major blow for the ANC. Certainly, Ayanda, outside the Durban High Court, members of uh, the M MK are in a jovial mood following this particular you know, ruling that has been uh, handed down by the Durban High Court uh, here this morning, effectively uh, dismissing the ANC's application with cost, Ayanda, uh, a serious blow for the African National Congress. Let's engage now the uh, MK leader, Mr. Jabulani Kumalo, who in fact is the one who registered this very party. Uh, that we are talking about here today. Uh, Mr. Kumar, thank you so much for your time. Your reaction to this particular judgment? No, I'm over the moon. I'm happy uh, that uh, the ANC has been shown what they can't fight the MK. We are unstoppable. Whether they like it or not, they must just forget it. We have won with cost, which is what we've been looking for even before. It didn't happen, but this time we got it. And they must pay. Of course, we, we did have a discussion with the Secretary General of the ANC, that's Mr. Figil Mbalula, who indicated that, in fact, if they lose this particular court case, they will appeal. Your stance on that? No, they can appeal, no matter how many times they want to appeal, but we'll still win it. Because they've got no facts. They were just trying. They were trying to disturb us for our good cause to, to win the elections. Is the former president still coming today? 
No, the president is busy somewhere. We've got so many programs that he's running. That's why he's not here. Also, there have been issues or reports, rather, Mr. Kumalo, regarding the internal uh, squabbles within the party. Are you at all uh, at liberty to talk to us about whether the party is in a, 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 a solid foundation? There are reports that they are beginning to see some uh, divisions within the, the, the MK party. Well, those reports will always be there. People want to see the MK cracked. It will never crack. We've got our leadership strong as ever. We've got all our uh, 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 leaderships in different areas. They're still strong. Issues will come, but we, we are managing. There is nothing that we cannot manage. Are you going to be addressing MK supporters outside the squad? Very much. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Okay, that's the MK commander, that's Mr. Jabulani uh, Kumalo here outside the Deben High Court reacting uh, to that particular judgment that has been delivered by the High Court. Effectively, Ayanda uh, dismissing the ANC's application with cost, which means it's another legal blow and another legal loss for the ANC as we head to the uh, uh, 29th of May polls. And of course, as I did indicate earlier on, uh, that uh, the uh, Secretary General of uh, the ANC ANC, Mr. Figi Lembalula had indicated uh, that uh, the ANC would appeal uh, this particular judgment if it is against uh, the party. And uh, of course, uh, we have been trying to see if we can get any word from the leadership of the ANC, but we have not seen any leaders of the ANC at this particular uh, point in time, Ayana. Yeah, and you know, Simpio, I'm not sure what your reading is from your vantage point, but from where I'm standing, this seems like a very quick judgment that was given out. Uh, did we expect that? Uh, do we have any kind of reasons for the judgment itself? Very, very quick, Hayanda, as you're pointing out there, that uh, the instruction that we got from the court, uh, perhaps before this judgment was delivered, was that uh, the me members of the media uh, should not show the face of the judge as well as uh, the name the judge. So I suppose uh, the judge deciding there uh, that he's just going to deliver this judgment quick in and out. All right. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to get a better sense of what the reasoning is for the organization itself. I know you're waiting for a representative of the ANC there. We were able to spot Guazim Shengu inside the court, who I suppose looked a bit gracious in accepting this defeat. The obvious question now is going to be around the political implication moving forward. We know that the MK party is going to be riding this all the way to the 29th of May. KZN is a highly contested province, especially when you reckon uh, how much influence the former president has. The ANC is going to have to come up with a very strong plan if they're going to be uh, able to manage to keep any kind of hold over the province. <laughs> Ayanda, I'm not sure if you are still with us, but if you are, let me perhaps try and steal this particular uh, moment and engage former President Jacob Zuma's uh, daughter, Duduzile uh, Zuma Sambula, who is also here, by the way, outside the Deben High Court. Uh, thank you so much, Duduzile, for your time. Perhaps your reaction as well on the judgment? Uh, this is just a show that MK is here to stay. We're going nowhere, and we're here for two thirds majority. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Is the former president coming today? He's busy. Thank you so much for talking. That's the daughter of uh, former President Jacob Zuma reacting there to that uh, quick judgment uh, that uh, has been delivered here outside the yeah. Deben High Court. Let's get a word now from the legal team of uh, the MK party. Sir, thank you so much for your time. Perhaps give us your name and surname and also the uh, reaction of the legal team. No, we are Mobile Zungu from Zungu Incorporated. Uh, the attorneys that were representing Mkondoises right from the beginning. Uh, until the end. We are really happy as a legal team for the outcome uh, and all the outcomes that we have just achieved from the beginning up until today. This is this is very exciting for us. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. It's the legal team uh, from the MK party here outside the Durban High Court reacting uh, to that uh, judgment that has been delivered, Ayanda. All right, fast-moving story this, and of course we're keeping up with the very latest as it unfolds. For now, Simpio Makanya, thanks very much indeed for getting that initial reaction. Of course, we'll be back outside the High Court in Durban for you. Get your sense of what else is being said. But if you've just joined us, uh, we're live to you on the SABC News Channel, and the breaking news story of the hour is that the ANC has now lost its bid to get the MK party or to prevent the MK party from using its name and that iconic logo of the warrior with the sphere. Reaction, of course, continuing for much of the day.
Du stevde oss.